Charlie Batch of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you're watching FanaticsView.com. Awesome. Any fascinating Barry stories, or what, what was it like to play with arguably the, the greatest of all time? Oh, man, playing with Barry Sanders was unbelievable. I was a rookie in 1998 and had the opportunity to really play for him and or play with him. And it, being able to hand the football off to a, a Hall of Famer, I mean, it was a, a dream come true for me. But at the same time, making sure, when I because a lot of plays I missed on the field, I wanted to go back and watch the film and figure out who he was juking and shaking and all the things that I may have missed when we were watching film. But this guy, man, it was just truly a best blessing to be able to play with him. And you, you were born in Pittsburgh, correct? Yes. So what was it, and you went to Eastern Michigan. Yeah. So what, what was it like to play for basically two hometown teams in a sense? Oh no, yeah, I mean, playing for Detroit, um, going to school at Eastern Michigan and playing for the Lions was fantastic. I played with them for four years, but didn't have any opportunity to go back home and play with the Steelers for 11. And literally when I say I was home, I'm home because I literally was 10 minutes away from the practice facility and that's how close I was. So it was truly, uh, you know, it was an honor to be able to do so and uh, play for the hometown team. And I was excited to do so for 11 years. Now, uh, Big Ben recently uh, came out somewhat contemplating his retirement. What, what, what was your reaction when uh, when you heard that? Were, were you surprised? Or? Uh, well, I wasn't surprised because, you know, he is. He just finished his 13th year. He is 35 years old, um, and his body probably is starting to break down on him. And he probably asked him those questions, how long can he possibly do this? And then you ask him 48 hours after a game. So, of course, he's still mad at the fact that they lost the AFC Championship game. So, I think, you know, the conversation will take place uh, throughout the next uh, couple months. And I think from there, I think they ultimately probably will at least have him come back and play one more year. I, I think then he comes back. It, um, looking back on it, uh, well, what's the first thing that comes to mind as far as, like, your, your greatest Steelers moment? Uh, for me, the greatest Steelers moment is uh, winning the Super Bowl winning twice, winning Super Bowl 40, Super Bowl 43, doing so in Detroit and then uh, down in Tampa. So having that and, and really, you know, going through those uh, championship moments, it's just it's special. And that's the reason why I went to the Steelers and that's the reason why they have continued to become, uh, have, have so much success in just being a part of those for 11 years. A lot of great players and a lot of great coaches that played with what, what, what was it like to play with the bus? Do you, do, do you think he sort of gets underappreciated among most of the greatest running backs? Uh, he did for, you know, I think based off of, I think based off the years he had to wait to get in the Hall of Fame. I don't think he truly was valued, but I think that everybody in Pittsburgh knew what they had. This is a guy who had over 13,000 yards, you know, like 13,000 yards as a big back the way that he was. Um, so for me, I just love the fact that I had the opportunity to hand off the two of the top five rushers at the time that Jerome retired, now that Jerome was number six with uh, LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, passing him up. I mean, not many people can say they've handed off the two running back, two Hall of Fame running backs, and I was able to do so.